Welcome to this channel where we will be discussing how to use ChemDraw. ChemDraw is a computer software that is used to draw and visualize chemical structures. It is also used to um, show chemical reactions. ChemDraw is a versatile tool and if you are working in any, on any project related to chemistry, it's likely that you will use ChemDraw. And that's why it's important you listen carefully. The first thing to do is to install ChemDraw. And to do that, um, you can consult several videos that can show you how to install ChemDraw. However, if you encounter any issue, you can always get across to me. Once you've installed ChemDraw, the next thing you do is to open ChemDraw. That's what I'll be doing. Now, once you open ChemDraw, you would have a blank canvas, a blank white space where you can draw your structures. Now, today we'll be drawing very simple structures. And then next time we can make it um, harder and then deal with more complex structures. Now, the first thing to do is to be aware that you have several features when you're working with ChemDraw. You can save your files, you can have new document, you can edit, you can also convert um, the name of a compound to a structure and you can do many other things. It's so powerful. Now the first thing we'll be doing is to draw some of the simplest structures you can ever encounter, particularly in organic chemistry. Now let's draw propane. Now propane is a hydrocarbon that has um, three carbon atoms. Now, the first thing you should do is click on the solid bond. You can see it. And then it should have three carbon atoms. So this is now this is one carbon atom. This is the second carbon atom. And then we want a third. So this is propane. Now, if you're not sure about it, you can um, click on this marquee tool and then go to structure and tell it to convert it to a name. I can see that this is propane. Now let's clean up the structure. Go to molecule and then clean up your structure. Now you can see that this is propane. Now propane has three carbon atoms and then we can even show it um, better. So highlight the structure and then can right click then go to atom and then you can um, show atom number you can see that so we have three carbon atoms one two three so this is a hydrocarbon having three carbon atoms and that's propane now let's change this to um, butane and then we just simply have to add one and then you can see that the structure is butane and then the name has been updated to butane. Let's add an extra carbon atom to give us um, pentane. You can see this. So this is pentane. So you can see it's very easy to draw the structures of compounds, particularly organic compounds. Now let's assume that we want to add a methyl group at position two. So this is position two and then so what you do is still click on this. You can see that it's highlighted and then go and then click on this and then drag it. You can see that this is two metal painting. Now you can see that it's very easy to draw structures using ChemDraw. Now let's add an extra um, carbon atom and then let's see what it gives us. Now this is two metal hexane. Now, to clean up our structure, what you simply do is click this and then go to molecule and then clean up your structure. You can see that you can clean it up. You can also do that again if you don't like how it looks. And then you can see this. So you can work with um, ChemDraw to do a lot of things. 
Now we can also increase the size of the structure. Let's try to do that so it's clearer and then it's bigger. So, so this is 2 methyl hexane. Now let's assume we don't want to add just a methyl group, we want to add chlorine. So we click on the text tool, you can see it, it's text tool. So go to that position, position 2, then click on it, you see that it's highlighted blue and CL. So you can see that. Um, so this is CL. I'm coming. Okay, so something is wrong. So go back there and then C, okay, L. Now we can update the name. You can see that. So once you just click on this on the market tool, it updates the name. So this is to chlorohexane. Now let's assume instead of a chloride atom, we want to add um, hydroxide OH. So we click and then go back there. Then you add OH. You can see that. And let's go back here. So you can see that it has changed the name to hexane to all, which is an alcohol. Now to add another substituent, let's add another substituent at position four. Let's say it's a bromide atom. So bromine. So let's have this. Bromine Br. Now this is two four bromo hexan two of, and let's clean up this structure. Cool. So you can see that it looks um good, and you can use it to draw several structures. So just um if you want to add a new atom, just click on this the text tool, and then if it's bromine br, the hydroxy group OH, chloride group Cl, and then if it's sulfur S, and you can always work on it. Now let's add um, NH2. Let's add NH2. So to add NH2, we just come here and then NH2. You can see that. So this is for amino hexane to all. Now let me show you something. If I simply just add NH And let oh okay or just n okay now you can see that um the nitrogen atom is cycled with red and that shows us that it's not correct because nitrogen should be bonded to three um, should be bonded with three bonds and we're just having one. So once you see this sign, the red sign, it shows you that something is wrong with your structure. And then you can always go back to check. So what I should have done should have been to add NH2. You can see that. Now I can also even add another bond and then immediately it removes it removes one hydrogen atom. So can simply play around with a lot of structures. And let's also consider all um, other functional groups like carboxylic acids. So let's go back here and let's say uh, we want to work with maybe butanoic acid. Now to add a double bond, you can look at this. This is a double bond. So you click on multiple bonds and then We want to draw um, a carboxylic acid, and then this should be or what we call the alkanoic acid. So you can see, so this should be one, two, three, four. So it should be butanoic acid. Now let's highlight it because it's not looking uh, good. So we go to molecule and then we clean up our structure and then let's try to name convert structure to name. Okay, it tells us that this is butyric acid and that's the old name. 
So this is butanoic acid. Now you can also expand it. You can also expand it so that it looks better. You can change the color. Let's change this to red. You can see that. Now we can also change this to another. Um, let's have another functional group. Let's change this to an amide group. So NH2, and then let's click on this. So you can see that. So simply by changing um, the atoms, you can have different functional groups and you can do a lot of things using ChemDraw. Now, ChemDraw has allowed us to draw both straight chain and branch chain compounds, particularly um, hydrocarbons and then carboxylic acids and even an amide. Now let's look at other um, kind of hydrocarbons, those that have cyclic structure. So to remove this, just simply highlight it and backspace. Now, if you want to bring it back, Control Z, and then let's save it. So to save this, just simply go to save, and then you can save it with any structure you intend and with that, sorry, you can save it with any name you intend to save it with. I will not be doing that now. So backspace. Now to draw cyclopropane, you can see it here. So just take your cursor here and then click on it. Then you have cyclopropane. Now let's enlarge it. And you can see that. Okay. Now let's add um, a group here and then another one here okay something's wrong with our structure so let's clean it up and then let's try to convert the structure to a name now this is quite big so we can reduce this size we can reduce this size this size is too big, so we can simply reduce it. So this is one one dimethyl cyclopropane. Now let's take it up. Now um, we can also have cyclo um, painting. So this is cyclo painting. Sorry, cyclo painting. You can see that. And then you can rotate this. You can always rotate this. Click on this and then just on here and then you can always rotate it okay so you see that now um we can simply add a metal group like we add another metal group and then tell it to name it and then you see what you've got but let's not do that let me show you how to so let's have a cyclo painting and then let's attach it to a benzene ring so or let's attach a benzene ring to this um, cyclo painting so what you do click on benzene and then once you see this blue you can see the structure now let's highlight it and let's reduce the size the size is too yes it's too big so Let's try to name this to so convert structure to name. So you can see that. So this is the name of this structure. Now let's, if we intend to add a double bond to, let's say, this part, so we click on this and then you see that. So once you um, change the structure, the name is updated. Let's assume we intend to add a nitrogen to form a heterocyclic compound. Then let's see. Isoindole. You can see that. So you can use this to draw different kind of structures. Different kind of structures. Now these are simple, uh, very simple structures. For next time, we will draw more complex structures. Thank you for listening.